to the video. Welcome back to another wicked hair tutorial. Actually, I just haven't showered. You'll have to uh, bear with me here before I shower because my hair looks so damn stupid. But if you are new to the channel, my name's Cole Hastings. And if you're trying to evolve your body and mind through a plant-based diet, as well as personal development topics, then consider subscribing. So it's been a while since I've just done a regular full day of eating video where I show you what I eat throughout the day, not eating like someone else. We're just going to eat like myself. Someone make a freaking I ate like Cole Hastings video and I'll I'll share that everywhere. And you're gonna see all the meals and all the macros that I eat while I am bulking. We're gonna get to over 4,000 calories today. I'm hoping, no, we're going to. So let's just get into the first meal, which is actually right here. So the first meal of the day includes these overnight oats that were already prepared for me as well as two bananas. Like I said, the overnight oats were already prepared. They have oats, chia seeds, sprouted flax seeds, goji berries, cacao powder, as well as 1 billion CFUs of probiotics. So how the hell did all that get into my overnight oats and where did I get this from? I have actually partnered with a local startup company. It's a fully vegan company if you don't want to hear about this innovative groundbreaking product that I have never seen before and I really want to show you guys then you can just skip to the time that's on the video right now and we'll just get into the macros but if you care what I have to say then listen up I want to tell you guys about food nerd they are a local startup that I have partnered with food nerd is a company that is disguising healthy raw whole foods all vegan in the form of snacks so in all food nerd products they have some type of sprouts which is very very good for your digestion as well as one billion CFUs of probiotics like I said, which is also just amazing for your digestion. You should always be getting in probiotics. So if you want to check out what they're doing, they just launched their cereal product. I have a sample here. They have a nice little quote on all of their cereal products. And this one's the one that tastes like Fruit Loops. Yes, it tastes like Fruit Loops and it's literally made out of just whole fruits and vegetables. And the products they're making are just so unlike anything I've ever seen in this industry. So go check them out. The link's going to be in my description. It's just foodnerdinc.com and you can read more about them. Okay, sorry about that. I won't do that anymore in the video. I just really believe in that company and I really appreciate what they're trying to do for people, transforming people's health. But yeah, as far as these overnight oats go, I don't have the exact macros for them, but I could kind of guess based on how I did the measurements in the cup when I poured it into the, you know, the mason jar, how many macros are in here? How many macros? What is, oh my God. I also added two tablespoons of peanut butter in there and a cup of soy milk. The soy milk wasn't included in the pack either. Either. So we are gonna see the macros for this on screen right now And then that is our total for the day not super high in protein But it was certainly high in calories and that's what matters more when I'm trying to bulk very good first meal I hope those macros are accurate. I wish I had the measurements for all that stuff But I don't so we will see at the next meal and I will be back in my kitchen for sure All right, much better. I'm here in the kitchen. My hair's looking normal. I'm looking normal. And it looks like there's better lighting than usual in here. If you guys watch these, you know how bad my kitchen lighting is. So I brought this in, so we're all good. It should be pretty well lit up here. And this next meal right here is very, very extensive and detailed. It's probably gonna take a little while to prepare, but it's gonna be so freaking good. So listen up to these ingredients. We are having a serving of this soy chorizo from Trader Joe's, never had it before. Very excited to try it. A everything bagel also from Trader Joe's, a serving of tofu. We're gonna make tofu scramble out of it. About a cup of sweet potato. We're going to cook it in the microwave. In the tofu scramble, we're gonna put a serving of this VO Life Parmesan cheese. We're gonna grate it on top. That's so good. We're gonna have a cup of broccoli, which we're gonna cook in the microwave for the greens. And then lastly, we're gonna put a serving, which is about a tablespoon of this Miyoko's vegan butter 
onto the bagel. So yeah, a lot to do with this meal. Surprisingly, it's still not even a thousand calories, which freaking sucks, but you'll see the macros at the end. Let's just get into just making this. All right, the sweet potato's already been washed off camera. What you wanna do is poke it with a fork, like I'm doing, just so it doesn't explode in the microwave. Then you wanna wrap a paper towel around it, and we're gonna bring it to the microwave, and we're gonna cook it for about three to four minutes on each side. We're gonna flip it over halfway. How's it going, Lily? How's the hunt going? Ever since my cat caught a mouse in the kitchen, she has been up here, like, trying to hunt as many mouses as possible. It's kind of hilarious. Okay, back to the meal prep. While that's cooking, let's just get the broccoli on a plate that we're gonna put in the microwave. Okay, good, we'll worry about that later. To cook the chorizo and tofu, I'm gonna use half a tablespoon of olive oil. This is a serving for this is a third cup. I'm gonna do my best to, uh, you know, get a third of cup of this. It feels so squishy, which I'm really worried about. It's not like regular sausage. Regular vegan sausage, I should say. Now for the tofu scramble, you just use your hands to kind of crumble it. Now, usual seasonings I use for tofu scramble, some nutritional yeast, a little bit of turmeric powder, that's what gives it the yellow color, and then black pepper because if you mix black pepper and turmeric powder, it activates this antioxidant in the turmeric powder, so just do that every time you use it. This is not the first time that's happened. Check it out. Both of those are pretty much cooked to the fullest. Now I need to go over here. Let's turn this on and start toasting it. This guy is all done. I'll chop that up in a second. Cook the broccoli for about a minute. Okay, just cut this up. I think I'm just gonna leave it like this. Broccoli's all cooked. Let's put the sweet potato next to it. Bagel is toasted. Spread the butter on the bagel with a knife that is not made for spreading at all. Ah, oh, Christ. And last but not least, a little bit of grating. Getting that Parmesan cheese on there. Okay, we've done it. We've put everything together and it looks hella good. I'm so excited to try this chorizo and this tofu scramble. Gonna put it inside this, make a breakfast sandwich, and then the, uh, the actual healthy stuff right here. So finally, I'm gonna show you the macros for this whole meal on screen right now. And then that's gonna be added to the total. So we're almost at 2,000 calories. It's about 3 p.m. I think we're doing well. I think we're gonna get well over 4,000 calories. I don't feel full at all. If you thought this meal was good, wait till you see the next freaking meal. Here we go with the next foods that I'm eating and I'm actually showing you guys two meals in one process here because I'm headed to my friend's house after I eat this first meal. Always got to bring a meal of some sort to my friend's house if I'm bulking. Unfortunately, that's just what we have to do. Oh, also, I ate a serving of chocolate with almond in it. This chocolate right here, it is Trader Joe's chocolate with almonds. I'll probably show like the packaging. I had a serving of that, so I'm just going to add that to the total real quick on screen. We are at 2,000 calories so far, but let's get into these two meals and what I'm about to eat next. So the meal I'm having at home is going to be a cup of brown rice, a serving of these frozen peas, a serving of this super firm tofu from Trader Joe's, 14 grams of protein per serving. Nice, nice, nice. A few of these grape tomatoes in there, and then for the sauce, we're gonna have two tablespoons of tahini. And then for the meal I'm bringing to my friend's house, it's always gotta be something that's very compact, portable, and easy to eat. It's gonna be a nice deli sandwich. I'm going to be using two slices of this sprouted seven grain bread from Trader Joe's going to be using four slices of this Light Life Smart Deli plant-based ham, which is one of my favorite uh, deli slices for vegans. Gonna have a few slices of this onion and then two tablespoons of hummus. And oh yeah, I'm also putting two tablespoons of hummus in this meal as well. <laughs> All right, making two meals at once. This is gonna be a hell of a process. Let's do it and let's hope we don't get too overwhelmed. So first I need a cup of this brown rice, which I can't really scoop with one hand, but I'm gonna try anyway. All right, it actually worked. Into the cup I'm using, I'm just gonna microwave it because it's already cooked. Oh yeah, and same for these peas, which I definitely have to put the camera down for. All right, let's get a serving of peas in there. Boom, now those are the two things that are going in the microwave. I'm gonna throw it in the microwave. The tofu is gonna be cooked properly on the pan. Great part about super firm tofu is you don't have to drain it at all. I am going to cut the tofu into cubes because I just like it cubed. I don't know, you can do it the way you like it. 
All right, that looks decent enough, even though I'm like really bad at cubing. Okay, now I need to do stove tings. For this, I'm gonna put on like the tiniest bit of oil possible. I, I'm already eating another processed meat substitute, which I don't like eating twice in a day. So tiny bit of oil here. Don't wanna get too unhealthy today. Oh, all right, that's, that's a pretty tiny amount. It's good. Let me get all these guys, all these spices that I need. Chili powder, nutritional yeast, cumin, pepper. Uh, yeah, that's it. Oh, also to make the tofu taste a little bit better, you know I've got that liquid aminos. I'm gonna be using about a teaspoon of this on on the uh, tofu here. Got it, seasoned, good, did it. Grab tofu, put it on the pan. All right, let's season the tofu. Season tofu is seasoning tofu right now. Good, now we're gonna let this cook, and while we let this cook, we're gonna prepare the tahini sauce as well as get my meal that I'm bringing to my friends ready. So all we wanna do to turn this tahini into an actual sauce, cause you know, take a look at this. It's not sauce consistency. What you wanna do is really just mix it with water. It's pretty easy. Then all you do is just mix it up with a fork and it will be a sauce. All right, this tahini is just stupid thick. It's really annoying. Look, there we go, we did it. I'm capable of mixing tahini with water. That's what I'm talking about. And now as for the sandwich, we're gonna toast a couple pieces of bread. Bread, why did I say it like that? I'll chop up some onions and the tomatoes I need for both this meal and that meal. All right, let's start chopping these. <laughs> This is nice and hot over here. I'm just gonna finish up the sandwich really quick before I make my bowl because this is toasted. It only takes two seconds. Just need to put on the hummus. Here are the veggie slices. The onion, and I forgot I had these, so I'm adding them some pickles. And of course, these are zero calories. So let's do this. That's okay, it'll be fine, it'll be edible. And there, I have something to bring to my friends. Tofu's done over there. Back here, I'm gonna start the microwave with the peas and the brown rice, and we're gonna put the bowl together. All right, let's put this masterpiece of a bowl together, yeah. Put in the grape tomatoes, and the tofu, then the hummus. Then I'm picking the camera up for this part, because you guys deserve a close-up view of this. Oh, yeah. Excellent, so here is the bowl, it is looking Pretty decent, I mean, it's gonna taste okay. It looks better than it tastes probably. Now I'm gonna show you the macros on screen for this bowl right now. And then we are going to see the macros on screen for this sandwich right now. And then we're gonna add both of those to the total at the same time, boom. And yeah, we're at 3000 calories, about to head to my friends. It's like six o'clock. I believe he's going to buy me a complete cookie because I'm picking him up too. If he does, I'll film it, don't worry. So we're looking good, it'll be fine. 4000 calories on a day off too, it's my rest day, which makes 4000 calories even better because it's just more gains. That's enough of that. I'll see you guys probably late to tonight for the last meal, which will probably also be just insanely good. All right, this has gotta be my last meal of the day. Don't think I could stomach another meal after this, so I really need to get to 4,000 calories with this meal. I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to yet, but I'm already set on the ingredients I'm using. I'm gonna show you right now. I'm gonna be making some pancakes, and we will see if we can eat enough to get there. So what's going into this pancake, or pancakes plural, I should say, is about a half of a cup of white whole wheat flour. Just to make the pancakes not stick, we're gonna use like half a tablespoon of this butter to put in that pan. Then we're gonna use baking powder to, you know, make it all fluffy. Then we're gonna use some soy milk to mix it all. And then we'll just top it off with some banana slices, a whole banana, and a tablespoon of pure maple syrup. Let's go through this really quick to see if I hit 4K. Okay, they're done. So here they are and they're looking pretty basic, but that is exactly what I wanted for my last meal. I know they're gonna be good as hell anyway. So I did the macro calculations and these are the macros on screen right now for this meal. 
and we're gonna add it to the total and we hit 4K calories. There's not many things in this world that bring me more joy than seeing 4,000 calories and 500 plus carbs on the screen. It was a good ass day of eating. I'm so excited to see even more gains this bulking season. It's just been going so well. If you enjoyed this video, all I ask is that you please leave a like for me. It helps the channel grow. It gets this information out to more people and it motivates me to keep putting out these videos, which I just love to to do. Thank you for watching. I'm going to destroy these. Go out with my friends. Have a good night. Hope you have a good night too.